An unfamiliar number. Who is it? What is it? It's me. Hi, Mr. Okabe Rintaro. Oh, hi, Mr. Okabe Rintaro. Voice is heavily accented. I can barely make it out. Who is this guy? Senka. Son? I jumped to my feet and scanned the room. No suspicious figures in sight. Grusa comes out of the development room and gives me a questioning look. I go back inside. Cern, what is that? I gulp and carefully choose my words. Identify yourself. One more afternoon, came to my factory to make inquiry and told me your telephone number. What are you saying? No, wait. I heard you've spoken Japanese before. Strange Japanese filters through my brain, detecting synapses. That's right. It's that foreign street vendor. I met this afternoon in Akiba. I identified. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're welcome. I do custom work yesterday night. A guest came here, I remember. A guest was pleased to make pin badges on the same one you had. I don't get quite what he's saying, but he seems to be excited about it. I'll have it right now. I go to the same spot as before, although stand is already closed. Preston is waiting. Oh, Okabe! Hello! Oh, Okabe, hello! Where did guest of yours go? Client come here was yesterday time. Blue eyed white man shrugged his shoulders. So it was yesterday. He contacted me before he remembered. What's his contact for his name, address? Doc Des! Poison. Guest was simulation. Guest was for simulation. Private information was nothing. Private information have nothing. So last night, someone came by wanting to make metal pins with the same design as Susan has. But he died of poisoning. Guess it was just a simulation. There's no private information. I'm not following. Japanese, yeah, to private information. No jiu san yitsuite stuff. Japanese, no studio. Some more private information. I'm nervous and serious, yes? That doesn't help. If guest got name or telephone number, no go to itta ga yo. If guest gave no name or so telephone number, business. however, no leak. That is business. <laughs> Fatigue suddenly weighs me down on my shoulders. I don't understand a word he's saying anymore. My head is full of question marks. In hindsight, I should have brought Kurisu to speak English. I guess I'll just have to wing it. So it's a do you yet? What did your customer look like? Man? Woman? Well So young or oh, so middle. Mm, Japanese are cow young ne look dark as you know understand. Well, so young or so middle. Japanese have young face, just look no no understand. Tokucho Anything else? Tokucho? Um Maybe judo fighter or, or pro wrestler? Pro wrestler? Huh? Judo? judo. Pro wrestling? What do you mean by that? Yes! Yes! That was the yes no question. What do you mean? Ah, balloon! Ah, balloon! balloon with balloon! Balloon? Judo? Balloon? Judo? <laughs> pro wrestling? Good! Good! No, not good. Are you trying to confuse me? I just want to ask more questions, but the foreigner suddenly sees a policeman walking by and runs off. I consider chasing him, but decide against it to avoid but police attention. I give up. Search has hit a dead end. We have barely any time left to find Barrel Tighter. I can time to begin, starting at 2pm tomorrow. Looks like all I can do is wait until Christina's done working. When leaving into time, this suspicious character appears to a stand. Grisu carefully connects two cords she's holding. Kanse. Done. Time leap machine is complete. It's 2.30 on the 13th. About 20 minutes later than before. She walks into the lounge with a satisfied look. It's not just me, Sue's her in the lab, and Darren in the head Time leap machine. So that's the time leap machine. She gazes at a now complete machine in awe. Or will explain to her how time leaping works. It's as different as we can be from Sousa's time machine, which can physically displace actual bodies. Makes you remember the future, right? 
I can trust him. She crosses her hands behind her head and looks up at the ceiling. Intuition, sixth sense, deja vu. What if those things actually you recall in the future memories? Some of CERN's researchers in my time came up with a theory of memories, a way of sharing information across world lines. Very similar to that. I was just thinking more about Okabe's reading Steiner. Is it unique to Okabe? Or does everyone just have a potential for it? I agree, it's just strong in my coincidence. One thing is certain. My consciousness leaps to a past along with my memories. I still don't understand why that is. It would make more sense if you experience a change in presence. Like what you do when you send a D-mail. Does your consciousness depend on your memories? The problem is that consciousness doesn't have a form like what we can see. Same goes for a soul. Both things are still in the realm of religion. Even in 2036, the existence of a soul hasn't been proven. And nobody's proven what form consciousness is either. I see, that's a little disappointing. Sending my consciousness back has let me change some future events with more precision than D-mail, but other events are locked in by conversions. I've changed the methods of Mio's death, but never every factor she dies. That's not how it works. The future is always determined. Then why does the path change? Because the world line changes. When you leap into the past, Take different actions. The divergence changes, if only a little bit. And in most cases, that fluctuation would amount to more than 0.0001% of the divergence meter. Small changes might not register at all. When you change a course, the effect merely shifts to separate already existing world lines. Since those two world lines are almost exactly the same, you barely feel any difference. Is that why reading Steiner didn't react? It's not exactly the previous world line, it appears. Keeps existing is another possible world line. That's the many worlds interpretation, right? In any case, they're not parallel worlds. So is the future reconstructed? I guess you could say that. I'm confused again. Maybe it's impossible for you to fully understand the structure of the universe. Anyway, that's enough discussion. Time for me to leap. I claim situation to Kreisu and have him activate the time machine. Oh, at least it works. I got wood for a second. The night of the 11th. I went back about 40 hours. My objective is to keep watch from a street vendor stand in the hope that Sousa's father might appear. I sent Sousa elsewhere. I don't want her to be disappointed if I come up empty handed. I'm standing out of sight, a short distance away from the stand, munching on energy bars and soy milk to appease my growing stomach. I've already been here for about two hours. I forgot to ask the exact time a suspicious character appeared. I to bring my steak out before sunset. It's now 8pm and the sand looks like it's about to close. Is this another waste of time? Do that foreigner give for false information? But just when I'm finishing my milk, someone approaches the stand. <laughs> Is that? I jump out of cover. Daru? Daru? Gege! Okarin? Okarin? Daru jumps in surprise. I'm one really shocked here. What? What, what are you doing here? I was going to ask the same question. The storekeeper is looking at us funny, so we decide to change locations. Alright, Daryo, what are you doing with this sound? Don't tell me you're trying to counterfeit duplicates of Titus Pin. Fine. I can't tell you then. <laughs> So that's what happened. 
very suspicious character, the foreigner, told me about. So all that stuff about judo, pro wrestling and balloons was referring to Daru's size. Could it have been more confusing? Damn it, it was all for nothing. Good thing I didn't bring Suzo along. So why are you trying to make counterfeit versions? I wasn't trying to counterfeit it. Close enough. Well, I meant it as a backup plan, I guess. Amanishi is going to be sad if we don't find an old man, right? So what happens? I should have banged to the maid. I was alive and her dad was here. So, you're giving Fox hope? You have to put it back, remember? There are good lies and bad lies. Bad lies hurt people, good lies save them. What error gauge did you get that from? Claudan! visual novel that teaches you a meaning of life, so shut up. Okay, I'm sold. He learned it from Clanad. I'm actually going to have to check up whether I'm actually lying, Clanad. Um, so, should I call off Operation Fake Titer? Do you really think I'm gonna make Suzuha happy? Daru's expression suddenly turns sad. Amanishi told me not to tell anyone, but we'll get a better to tell you. He's got a big mouth as usual. Still. He seems dead serious, so I'd better tear him out. I heard this on Manishi when we were discussing repairs. Her time machine can only leak her past. What? At first, I don't understand what he means. Nonsense. Titus machine can travel both ways. Did you actually see it? Well, no. Besides, when you say Titus, you mean the one who appeared in 2000, don't you? I don't know anything about that, Titus. That's right. The Titus I know and Susa aren't necessarily the same person. Although their time machines are similar, there are significant differences. For example, one looks like a Chevy, the other one looks like a satellite. So, wait. Once she leaves, she can't come back. You're saying when she goes to 1975, she can't return to 2010? Not without living 35 years in real time. Is he serious? Does that mean Susa's time machine can never return to 2036? Didn't I just say that? Then, it's effective. Right. She said her time machine was incomplete. Incomplete? Incomplete? According to Amanishi, her old man built it in secret by reverse engineering certain technology. The son killed him before he could complete it. The man she insisted to fire as long as she could leave him in her path, but... Are you sure about this? She said to herself. I don't think she was lying. Are you sure about this? So she can't meet her old man before time machine is repaired. She might never get another chance. So that's why I was trying to make a copy of that pin. As evidence that Susa's father was here. But making a fake version of her father's pin isn't going to solve everything. A lie is a lie. But if we don't get caught, I waved every side of a massage my temples. I need to think. What difference does it make? True, Susa might be sad about missing her father, but that's none of my business. My top priority is my always safety. That's right. I mustn't let my emotions control me. I need to be more rational, more logical. There's a Japanese proverb. 
He who pursues two hares will catch neither. However, that sad smile on Susa's face. Now I understand what it meant. I feel something tighten deep within my chest. The next day, as night falls, I summon all my members except Krisu to Radikan. It's boiling hot on the rooftop, even in the evening. When I provide Dao with a refreshing gift of cola, his sweaty face lightens up. Ooh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, great. A nice cold zero calorie cola. How thoughtful of you. Dao happily takes the cola and chugs it straight from the bottle. Afterwards, Dao and Susa start discussing a time machine. Miyori and I watch for a short distance. Hey, isn't it amazing that the satellite was a time machine? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I bet Susa sound wasn't hurt. I heard it's real hard to drive. The gravitational watch record it coordinates it just seems to be off. And she's even said the time machine is unstable since it's not a stern model. I'm worried about her trip to 1975. Do you think she, I should go with her? I wonder if I fit. What would you do in 1975? I'd cheer her on, of course. I'd hold her hand super tight and tell her everything's going to be okay. Hey, Okuin. Do you think the time machine has a name? Well, no, just ask Titan. Oh, yeah. If you didn't think about it. <laughs> she giggles, runs off to talk to Susa. She returns a few seconds later. <laughs> yep, it has a name. FG204, something, something, she said. Anyway, they think that Dara and Susa sound like a good match. Look at Dara and Susa again. Dara is all about Faris. Hey. Oh, really? She tilts her head to her side. Hey, can we you take a closer look at a time machine? I nod, she wants over the machine again. Behind her, the sun glows dark and orange from the horizon. As Mayori leaves, Susa comes over to stand beside me. Our shadows are long and murky into a fading light. Hashida Ikaru is amazing. He said if things go well, he could have a time machine to fix by tomorrow. It looks so unhealthy and slow. A refreshing breeze blows by. It's quite hot a few minutes ago. The temperature's really far, it's starting to drop. Um, hey. The thing I want to say, and I feel like I'll never get another chance. Are you listening? After a moment's hesitation, I give a little nod. I'm really grateful to you, all of you. When I came to this time, I didn't know anyone. I was all alone in a world completely different from my own. This era is so peaceful. Oh, that's a wonderful thing, but it scared me. Well, I knew it was a fight against CERN. But now I have friends, real friends, who I have to share my secrets with. All these people lived for before I was born. Working so hard for my sake. It's a strange feeling. But a happy one too. I want you to know that. Heard those words before, just like last time. Her tone is wistful. Her time machine can only leap to a past. The truth I heard from Daru plays my head in an endless refrain. Doing you guys all this time? It's been real fun. When I met you, you were so kind of strange and unique and over tough. I was kind of shocked at first, actually. Before I knew it, I started enjoying spending time with you. Hopefully, this is peaceful too. I shake my head. People don't fight, ever. It's dead. Everyone has dead eyes. No one has ambition, dreams, or just good. That's a single complaint. Sure, people smile, but I never get angry or sad. 
There's no individuality. Everyone's a robot. You got really mad at me before, remember? I was really surprised, but at the same time, I was happy. <coughs> she looks at the time machine. Daru and Mayuri are standing next to it. You're so bright and full of life. I am with you. Shina Mayuri, Ashida Itaru, even Makise Kurisu, and of course, you. I want to be more like you. It's thanks to all of you, but I'm still going strong. Being a lab mem, even just for a little while, She smiles around a soft smile, but tears, tears, tears my heart. This time I know what that smile means. Being with you guys, even just a little while, was great. Susan obviously knows from the beginning that she travelled to 75. She can never return. Change the future, I can move into her. Make it a world like this one, where people can be free. First time I heard her. Speak those words. I thought she was sentimental because she couldn't return to original 2036. I was wrong. If you go back to 2036, she can't even return here to 2010. Not without living another 35 years. She'll be 54 when 2010 comes around. The present us and the present sues her. Can never meet again. She chose this mission. To change the future, to save Miyori. Unless sues her travels to 75, Miyori will die. But then, what about sues her herself? When she leaves to 75, she'll have to sacrifice everything she has here. How did you feel about it? Do you... Hmm? Do you regret spending time with us? What do you mean? Do you regret making new friends here and memories? Do you wish you kept your distance? You'd already abandoned one life, now you have to abandon another. In a sense, it's like you're killing yourself. Did it He's worried about you. Yeah. I don't want to tell anyone. Well, how do you feel about going to 75? It doesn't matter how I feel. I have to go. It's the path I chose. It's what my dad wanted. What if we asked you to stay? I'll go anyway. One of those guys at that channel asked what advice they have to change the future and decide the fate of human race. He had a point. But, still, I don't want the future to turn out like that. I want those people in my time to be free like you. To laugh and play and fight and argue, get sad and cry. If I change the future, then no one will die. Not you, not Sheena. Not my dad. Maybe I don't have a right, but I'm going anyway. Even if you can never return? Come on. Seven is bad, 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 bad time, you know. I find friends there just like you guys. Well, have a blast. And just like that, Susan's back to your usual self. But despite a cheerful smile, I'm certain the resolve was forged from fear and doubt of the likes of which few can imagine. I was a fool to think my words can sway her. Beneath a clear blue sky, the time machine comes to life. We'll take out that time machine next episode.